Good happy Friday morning. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King network. Let's get started. First up, Peterborough celebrates the largest solar array in state. Peterborough is hosting a flipping the switch ceremony to start up the largest solar power system in New Hampshire. Panel Insurance Department discuss health care cost trends. New Hampshire health care providers and insurance company officials are among those participating in an annual public hearing about trends in health care costs and insurance premiums. Think you want a tiny house? Businesses offer a tryout first. Hillary and Sean Lentez were hooked on the idea of tiny house. But they weren't sure the reality would be so appealing. Their curiosity led them to the hills of New Hampshire, where a business that started at Harvard University rents out tiny houses for 99 a night. The company Gateway has drawn visitors from afar who come to simple life in a 160 square foot house before they dive head long into the lifestyle. Man hit by car in Derry. Derry police were investigating an accident that sent a man to the hospital on Thursday. Craig files for recount in Manchester Mayor race. Manchester Mayor Challenger Joyce Craig on Thursday filed for a recount after returns from Tuesday showed she lost the race by 85 votes, less than a half a percent. Laconia officer armed with cell phone makes difference in heroin battle. As communities across New Hampshire struggle to contain the state's opiate crisis, one Laconia police officer with a cell phone and a lot of comp compassion is making a difference. Experts have long said that decriminalization drug addiction and offering treatment over jail is the only solution. The Laconia Police Department has been testing that theory for a year and seeming some positive results. F. B.I. searches lawns in investigation of women's shooting. An FBI team Thursday searched the yards of Manchester House near where the a woman was shot and killed two months ago. Brother identifies Rye man as pilot killed in New York plane crash. Family members said 57-year-old Brad 
McGee from Rye was the pilot killed in a plane crash last night. No challenge to Sanders as he filed to run in New Hampshire primary as a Democrat. U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders, the longest serving independent in history of the U.S. Congress, filed as a Democrat for the New Hampshire primary on Thursday without incident and with no drama but with lots of Extentment. Rubio Fiorina also filed for New Hampshire primary. Alstead Cancer. Alsted woman with cancer files lawsuit to get medical marijuana card sooner. A New Hampshire woman with late stage lung cancer filed a lawsuit against the state health commissioner Thursday in hopes of getting a medical marijuana identification card before dispensaries open. Shooting of man in Merrimack ruled justified. New Hampshire's Attorney General said two Merrimack officers were justified in using deadly force against a man who charged at them with a knife. Teen missing in range found safe. As already said, a teenager missing from a New Hampshire boarding school has been found safe. Police Chicago boy was target of gang shooting. A nine-year-old killed in Chicago this week was lured into a alley and shot in a gang related attack, authorities said. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday. See you back here later. Goodbye. <laughs>